Yo, what's going on guys? You're watching PSD to HTML and CSS Series 1, Lesson 4, and today I want to talk about the header and how we can create this in the HTML. Alright then guys, so in the last lesson we ended up with something like this in the HTML, dead simple. We created the general structure which consisted of a header for this strip at the top, the lead banner for this thing here, the main content div which contained three sections which represent these three sections here. Alright, so what I want to do in this lesson is just concentrate on this strip at the top which is this header. So let's open this up a little bit. And the first thing I'm going to do is create a div with a class of wrapper. And I'm going to explain this to you in a second. Okay, so you see this design right here. The black strip goes from the very left edge here to the very right edge. But the content within it, this bit, the logo and the navigation, is contained within this central column, yeah? That's what this div with a class of wrapper is going to represent. It's going to keep all this content within a central column. So we're going to use this throughout the document. We'll use it in the header here. We'll use it in the lead banner for this stuff here. And in each of these sections for the content here. Okay, so that's what the wrapper is all about. Next thing I want to do is create a H1 for this logo. And the reason I'm giving it a H1 is because it's kind of like the header for the whole page. This tells us what this page is. It's green design, yeah? So it deserves a H1 tag. Let's give that an ID of logo. And it's got an ID because we're only using it once on the page. And then within the H1, I'm going to say green design. And right now, guys, you're probably thinking, what the hell is this dude on? This is an image, not text. Why is he writing green design? And the reason is this. I'm doing it for screen readers. If a screen reader views your web page, it's not going to see images. It will read text, however. So this is for the benefit of that. In the CSS, for desktop users, we can hide the text and replace it with an image in the background property for the H1. So we kill two birds with one stone. I prefer to do it this way. Other people prefer to do it another way. Entirely your choice. This is how I'm going to do it. All right, then next thing I'm going to do is create a nav element and that's a HTML5 element that's uh, kind of new to HTML and within this we're going to do a UL tag. Now before that in fact I'm going to do a H2 and that's because normally in HTML5 the nav element expects a header within it. Again we can hide this in the CSS because it's not on the design but again it's beneficial to screen readers. We'll just give this a text property or the text inside of main navigation. Cool. Now this UL is going to contain our links in each li tag. We'll do our a tags for the links and we're not going to give this a href uh, value because we're not going to make any other pages so this really doesn't matter at the minute but we will write in the text. And also guys if I hide these guides you're going to notice these little green things right here yeah. In fact I'll zoom in for you. Okay blah blah blah. Zoom in. Can you see these little green things right here? I'm going to contain those within a span tag. All right. So we can style those separately later on. Now I'm going to zoom out so we can see what these links are. All right then. So let's copy this one. And we need to paste it in another four times. And we'll just change the text of each one. So that's about this is portfolio. Uh, next one is clients. Got lots of them. <laughs> and the final one is contact. All right, perfect. So there we go, guys. That is the header complete in the HTML. Dead simple, right? And all we need to do now is style this baby up in the CSS. We're going to do that later. But in the next video, what I want to do is concentrate on this lead banner. I'll see you guys then.